Hey, good morning. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, coffee is flowing. It's been an exceptionally uh, hot week, and uh, so golfed at like 6.30 in the morning this morning. Uh, so we're, we're done with golf. It was good. It was a good day. I uh, want to talk to you this morning. Um, as always, you know, I'm always just sharing what I'm learning and in my daily uh, devotions or my Bible study or a weekly sermon that I heard. And um, I wanted to share with you today from, from Numbers. So let's get started. You've all heard the phrase, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? And uh, I heard this passage preached this week, and it, it almost reinforced that sit. And I, and I just thought, like, like, wait, that saying's not from the Bible, right? That's just what people say when they're uh, motivating someone to, uh, you know, work harder in the gym or get through whatever trial they're going through um, as it is. But um, so let's go to Numbers 13. All right. So, so Numbers, actually we're Numbers 14. Um, so we're, we're in the desert with Moses and Aaron leading the Israelites, right? And they had just sent 12 spies. Um, across the land because there was wisdom given to them um, by God that the promised land was far ahead. So they sent spies. Ten of the twelve spies came back and said, no way. The, there's these giants. They're three times us. There's three times as many of them. They will, they will kill us. Two spies, Joshua and Caleb, came back and they said this. The land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and will give it to us. Do not rebel against the Lord. And if we do not be afraid of the land... Because we will swallow them, actually the word is devour, we will devour them like bread. And it's the word bread that got my attention. And, you know, we can use all the analogies in the world of, of bread. You know, we take bread for communion because that represents the body of Christ. And um, Jesus broke bread at the Last Supper. And when he broke the bread, the blind could see. So there's, there's so many analogies of bread. But what I really, really stuck out here was, th it was that, that almost, that one phrase, we will devour them like bread. When you think about how easy bread is to eat, you put it in your mouth and it dissolves. Just the amylase and the salivase of, of, of your own saliva will dissolve bread. And you can eat it so quickly so fast and i love the fact that like you can just put bread in your hands and it'll crumble as it goes through there so i'm thinking about this and i'm thinking well how can i use this like it's just my it's just my daily it's just my daily scripture memory you know when i'm um, traveling or getting ready to do something that um, can be stressful and and different things like that and so i started putting this into perspective and, you know, when you go through something traumatic in your life, like I did um, years ago, actually just a year and a half ago, I'm laying there in that hospital bed after second surgery, paralyzed. And, um, you know, literally right leg paralyzed, intestines paralyzed, um, stomach paralyzed on a feeding tube. Um, and I remember the third day that I was there getting that phone call from... Um, a Christian brother who reminded me that my obstacles, these giants in my life are like bread. And I wasn't in a place where I could think that, recognize that, or feel that. I was in a place where I was defeated and um, you know how your mind is when you're in that zone. If you've ever been there, you're like, man, this is it. This is how my life is going to end. And so what I guess my point is in all of this, that mantra of devour them like bread. When we're in the right mind and we're in the right spirit, 
that is an easy motivating factor for us when we look at our obstacles. Okay, we've got this coming up. We're going to devour it like bread because we know the promises on the other side. We know the good that is waiting on the other side. These two spies knew that. But when you're in the middle of it, like the Israelites were, and they couldn't see the good on the other side, and they're, they're wishing they were dead. They felt like God was cursing them for being in the desert for so long. That's when our brothers and our sisters step in to motivate us. That's when, when someone else is down in their spirit, down in their circumstances. We step in as brothers and sisters and we say, you will devour this like bread. And it is our faith that lifts them up. Just like my brother lifted me up in that time when my faith was low. And so I love this verse. I, I just, I think it's one of the best verses um, that I have been given lately um, to use, to memorize, to meditate on, um, to murmur on. But I, so I encourage you to put Numbers 14.9 into your repertoire. Um, do not be afraid of the people of the land because we will swallow them. We will devour them like bread. So what if you're not a believer? What if you're watching this this morning? Or what if uh, somebody shared this video with you on their Facebook or their social media page and you're not a believer? Well, this is why we've become believers. Because when, when you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you win. You, in the end, you win. And during the process of living here on this earth, um, you have a community. You have a Savior who will get you through that valley, through that desert to the promised land. It is promised and it is given. It is not an easy journey. But we have that reassurance that we will devour our obstacles like bread. And when our brothers and our sisters are down, we encourage them that they will devour this issue like bread. It could be illness. It could be financial hardship. It could be... Um, a rough marriage, a bad relationship. Um, we encourage them and then we're down. When we're down, this is when it's important. You have to have people of God in your life because when you're down, you're gonna need someone to remind you that you are gonna get through this. You are gonna devour your obstacles like bread and you have to have those people in your life. And so that's why just the church, surrounding yourself with fellow believers, um, is so important we, to lift each other up as we go through there. So if you're not a believer, this is one of the greatest reasons you should become a follower of Christ um, because the promises are there and they're tremendously great um, and, and you get a chance to build a community. So um, that's why this passage is so important to me today. And um, I hope and pray that you, you seek this out and study it for yourself. Um, you know, as always, I um, always appreciate you guys hitting the share button. We, we say this every week that there are people who will never walk in the door of a church, but they will watch a TikTok or a Facebook video um, or an Instagram video. So hit that share button. You don't even have to answer them when they, when they respond to you. Send me a message. I'll be happy to stay up all night talking with them um, as we go through there. But this, this is one of the coolest passages that I've had of lately. And, um, I just love that I, every week I learn something new and something more and something more. Um, devour your obstacles like bread. And uh, tremendous passage out of, out of Numbers. I encourage you to memorize it, dwell on it daily. And um, anyway, uh, golf hot inside because we golfed early. But uh, golf again early tomorrow. So we'll see you guys. Have a good day.